One of the most tedious parts of video editing is cutting out dead space and bad takes. A few months ago, I started using a program to do this automatically. It's called Gling AI. And in this video, I'll give my review of the program and also explain how I use it. If you want to check out Gling AI, you can find a link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, but this video is not sponsored by Gling AI. Gling can be used in a web browser, or you can use it as an app that you download to your Windows or Mac machine. I prefer to use the desktop app, so that's mostly what I'll be using in this video. Just keep in mind that you still will need an internet connection for the app to work. There's several different subscription plans to Gling. I'm on the $15 a month plan, and I found this to be a fair value for the amount of time it saves me. So I've opened the desktop app for Gling AI here. I'm on Windows. And from here, you can import files into your project. So I'll click here to browse. I'll choose the files on my computer. I recently made this video about Canva. It's only one file, but you can also import multiple files for one project. So I'll click open. I'll give it a name here. You can choose what language you speak in. So here's a list of the ones that are supported so far. I'll choose English, but it usually picks it up by default anyway. Then I'll click continue. Now I just use it for removing silences and bad takes. You can also make it so it'll add in jump cuts and remove noise, but I prefer to do those later. So now I'll click enhance and edit. And it'll take a couple minutes to process here. Typically my video files are less than 25 minutes total, and it usually finishes processing in three or four minutes. I will say that if you store your video files remotely, make sure they're fully cached on your local machine before processing them. When I first started using Gling, I forgot to do this, and it caused processing to take a long time, and it was quite inaccurate. But once I had the video files fully stored on my computer and then started processing them, it worked fine. And when it's finished processing, we're brought to this screen here. So on the left, you can see it transcribed my whole video. So I can scroll through. The text in gray were the parts that were edited out. So in an area like this, you can see that lots of repeats were taken out. Down in the bottom right, you can see what it actually did. It made 151 cuts, and it took my video from 6 minutes and 13 seconds down to 1 minute and 22 seconds. Now when it makes these cuts, you can automatically adjust the spacing between them. So I'll click Paste here, and I'll click this Control here. And usually I add about 100 milliseconds before and after. And then I'll click Apply, and this can pad out your gaps a little bit more. Now I should say right away that I only use this tool for the first cut of my videos. Later on, I import this into DaVinci Resolve and do further edits. I'll show you how to do that later on in this video. But first, let's look more at how to use this tool. So I'm at the top here, and I can play through my video. So I'll click play here. Now the key thing here is that you can actually change what it did. Here I can see it got a little over eager with what it cut out. I actually want some of the stuff to be back in there. So I can select this gray text here. Then I can click the scissors to uncut it. And now it's gonna be back in my file. You can see here I said the same thing twice about selecting a person on their computer. I like this one. I'll select the file on my computer. So I'll add that back in. And I can keep going through and making these changes. So you will have to go through this verification step to make sure the program did the right thing. But I find it much faster to verify and make minor corrections than to do all these changes from scratch. So if my original video file is 25 minutes, and then Glean cuts it down to 5 minutes, it might only take me 7 minutes of easy work to just review it and fix any problems. There's also some other cool features here. For example, I can add captions. So if I select this sentence, I can click Add, and then I can say Captions. And if I play my video, you'll see the captions. Unfortunately, the captions don't export that well to other programs. They're just exported as a static image on top of your video. There's also other AI tools, generating titles, creating chapters. But the main thing I use this tool for is just to cut out silence and to remove bad takes quickly. As I said earlier, Gling is just the first part of my workflow. So how do you take the results that it gives you and use it in another program? Well, we can export the results as an XML file. To export your project, you click Export over here, and then you can choose the format that you want. If you're happy with what Gling did, you can export the video as it is, but we just want the information about all the cuts it made. So I use DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to choose Resolve here. But you can see Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere are also supported. And technically Resolve uses the Final Cut Pro format, but I'll just click that anyway. So I'll click Resolve and I'll put it on my computer here. So I'll put it under Gling Test and I'll just save this XML file. I'll click Save. So this is the file we exported. Let me open it in a text editor and show you what it looks like. You don't have to know the contents of this file, but I think it's useful to understand. What this XML file does is point to your original video files. So you can see here's the file link on my computer. And then if you scroll through, all it contains is the cuts that Gling made. So you can see this one here, the start of the cut, how long it lasts. This is all the information that a program like Premiere or DaVinci Resolve needs. So I'll close this. 
Now I'll open DaVinci Resolve. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve here and I'll create a new project. So I'll click new project. I'll just say Gling Canva test. Now to import the XML, you wanna to go to the edit tab. So I'll click edit down here and I'll click on my media pool. Now I'll right click in the media pool and I'll say timelines. And then I can say import. And there's this long one here that has the word XML in it. Click that. And now I'll select the XML file on my computer. So this is the file that Gling exported. I'll click open. And here I have all my information. You can change this as you like, but I'll just click okay. And now you can see it's imported the project. And down here we have all the cuts that Gling made. And the cool thing is that we can go and further edit them. So I can scroll in. If I wanna fine tune the cut, I can select the tools here, add some more spacing. I can add text onto my video. So I'll drag this over here. I'll make this green, move it around. Now I know my footage looks strange here with the webcam and the desktop recorded side by side. This is how I can edit my desktop footage and my webcam independently. If you wanna know my process for doing that with OBS, check out my video on that subject. I'll leave a link in the description below. So the benefits of Gling for me are that it's a massive time saver. Removing dead space and bad takes is now just a quick reviewing task. I've also found the support on their Discord channel to be very helpful. The developers are there and quite responsive to customer problems. Updates are released every couple days, so this is clearly a project that's still being developed. What are the downsides? Well, I think for those who only want to edit in Gling, the performance is still a bit of a problem. The program pauses slightly after each edit. It's only maybe 100 milliseconds, but it's still really hard to know the true timing of your edit. There's no ability to create proxy files, which are something that can speed up tools like DaVinci Resolve and Premiere. In terms of text recognition, it's very good. Glancing at the transcript allows me to easily see what was edited in and out. But if you have more complex videos that intentionally have empty space in them, make sure to put that back in. Overall, I think it's a great tool for creators that want to quickly edit dialogue heavy videos. And even video editors doing longer and more complex projects might find it worth a look. There's a free trial, so check out the link down below and give it a look. Are you using Gling or any other AI editing tools? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.